Latest tonight in the contract negotiation battle, the stalemate between the United Auto Workers and the Big Three. Stellantis is the latest to make a counteroffer to the UAW, offering a nearly 15% wage increase. However, UAW President Sean Fain just moments ago shot it down, saying it is not what the UAW is looking for, adding it to other offers that have been rejected already by Ford and GM. Michael Sandlin was at Local 12 earlier today, and it sounds like members over there are getting ready if there is no deal, Michael. Yeah, that's right, Jeff. I was there as they were prepping their second shift workers for that possibility, getting them excited with chants and signs like this one, but also answering serious questions to prepare these people for the very real possibility they will soon be marching in the coming weeks. Everywhere we go! And when we did that, nobody took from us. Functioning somewhere between a pep rally and a training course, Friday's meeting of Local 12 second shift workers was designed to prepare them for something this particular hall hasn't had to do in over 50 years. So, so not too many people know what to expect, especially our new hires, but even the seniority people, you know, their wives are calling up saying, hey, what's going to happen when my husband goes on strike? And so now they got something to go back and tell their wife and their kids. As second shift workers, these will be the people who will walk out of the plant if negotiations fail by the deadline of midnight of next Thursday. It has to be peaceful. It has to be, you just, unless you're going to a gate these guys assign you to, you get in your cars, you go home. Do not do damage anything, do not break anything. Mind you, management will be watching. Rules that will continue to apply while they're picketing too. It's also they have jobs to go back to when the strike is over. But as workers who have never picketed before, people had a lot of questions. From what we were told originally it was Wednesday when we come into work at midnight. Now you're saying we're going to come to work Thursday. So they had to break down everything from who their strike captains will be to how long the strikes are and the rules of how to behave on the line during their six hour shifts. While there was a lot to learn, Local 12 President Bruce Baumhauer says the enthusiasm gives him faith that their fight for fair contracts could soon be over. Yeah, the solidarity that we have in, in right now is unbelievable, and, um, and it needs to be. With the latest deal rejected, leaders with UAW say sometimes new deals will be sent in as late as 11.59 of the last day. So these negotiations could very well last until the very last minute. In studio, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.